Peristine Plus is a transanal irrigation or tie system that helps people manage fecal incontinence and or constipation. It is designed to help those who could not get sufficient relief from conservative treatments such as diet, laxatives or lifestyle changes. Peristine Plus is an effective water-based treatment. To use Peristine Plus, you first need a consultation with a qualified healthcare professional. They will also train you in using the system. Peristine Plus enables you to decide when and where you empty your bowel. It assists the evacuation of feces by introducing water into the bowel via a balloon catheter through your anus. Peristine Plus will prevent fecal incontinence and constipation for up to two days. This will help you to regain the control and the confidence you need to take care of the important things in your life, such as work, school and spending time with family and friends. With over 25 studies proving its benefits, the original Peristine system with balloon catheter was the first and best documented manual transanal irrigation system on the market. Building on the evidence-based legacy of Peristine, the new upgraded Peristine Plus is equivalent in efficacy and function, but is now designed to be easier to use. When you first begin to use transanal irrigation, it may take some time for your bowel to adapt to the new treatment. But don't worry, everyone needs the right practical and emotional support, help and advice along the way. And that's exactly what you get with our dedicated patient support program. The combination of a proven product and the right support can help make a long-lasting difference to your bowel management. The Peristine Plus Transanal Irrigation System contains everything you need to irrigate your bowels. A water bag with a screw top, a control unit with a pump, tubes, leg straps, and balloon catheters. There are two balloon catheter sizes, regular and small. Your healthcare professional will prescribe the size that's right for you. Remember to check that you're using the right size before you start irrigating. The control unit is used to control the irrigation procedure. There are four symbols on the control unit. When you turn the knob to the white balloon symbol, you inflate the balloon or stop the water. When you turn the knob to the turquoise water symbol, you can pump water. When you turn the knob to the grey deflate symbol, you can deflate the balloon. When you are done, turn the knob to the finish and storage symbol. This will release the water and allow the system to dry properly before you use it the next time. Knowing the symbols will enable you to be more in control so you can go backward and forward with the steps. In addition, the turquoise circular line indicates the range of turning the knob. For extra stability during pumping, you can use a leg strap to fix the control unit to your thigh. In addition to the instructions for use, we also provide a simplified step-by-step -step guide. You can get this guide from your healthcare professional or download it on the Coloplast Patient Support website. You will now see a demonstration of how to use Peristine Plus to irrigate your bowel. The demonstration is divided into six sections. Getting ready, inserting the balloon catheter, inflating the balloon, pumping water, emptying, and cleaning up. Before irrigating, empty your bladder so you avoid adding pressure to your bladder when instilling water. Some have found it useful to have certain items at hand for the irrigation, such as disposable gloves, a glass to hold the balloon catheter during preparation, antibacterial gel, something to clean yourself or the toilet with after irrigation, and a small trash bag for disposing of the balloon catheter. Some prefer to do the preparation steps in the sink to contain any water spillage. Start by filling the water bag. Flip the lid to open the water bag. The water should be lukewarm, 34 to 40 degrees Celsius. If it's too hot, it may harm the delicate lining of the bowel. If it's too cold, it may cause stomach cramps. Run the water over your wrist to feel if it is lukewarm. To properly read the volume scale on the bag, 
you will need to fill the bag completely, all the way to the grey lid, even though you may not use all the water for the irrigation. The water bag compartments fill up gradually one after the other. Give it time to expand and make sure all three are completely filled with water up to the lid. When you close the lid, make sure you hear a click, otherwise the system will not work properly. Connect the grey connector at the end of the tube to the lid by aligning the big tube with the big hole and the small tube with the small hole. Make a cross, push together and then twist gently clockwise to lock. Gently tug the tube to make sure it is connected correctly. Place the water bag on the floor near where you will carry out the irrigation. It should be positioned so you can see the volume easily. Attach one end of the tube with the turquoise connector to the control unit. Align the big tube with the big hole and the small tube with the small hole. Make a cross and then twist the connector clockwise until you feel a subtle click. The connector is now locked. Now slightly open the balloon catheter packaging to the turquoise dot on the catheter. Attach the other end of the turquoise tube to the balloon catheter by aligning the big tube with the big hole and the small tube with the small hole. Make a cross and then twist the connector clockwise until you feel a subtle click. The connector is now locked. Do not inflate the balloon yet. You can attach the catheter to the wall by using the adhesive dots on the back of the packaging. Alternatively, you can place the balloon catheter with the packaging in an empty glass to contain any spillage. For extra stability when pumping, you can attach the control unit to the thigh by using the strap. First, place the strap around the base of the pump, thread it through the buckle and pull tight. Next, fit the pump to your thigh using the Velcro. Adjust the strap for a comfortable fit. Make sure you can turn the knob easily without the control unit moving too much. To lubricate the balloon catheter, turn the knob to the turquoise water symbol. Pump carefully until the water fills the catheter packaging to the turquoise dot. Turn the knob to the white balloon symbol to stop the water. Then wait 30 seconds for the lubricant on the catheter to be activated so it's easy to insert. Remove the lubricated catheter from the packaging and use it within two minutes. Do not use any other lubricants on the balloon catheter as this might damage the balloon. While sitting on the toilet, hold the balloon catheter by the finger grip under the turquoise dot. Insert the balloon catheter carefully into the rectum as instructed by your healthcare professional leaving the finger grip outside of your body. Do not use force when inserting the balloon catheter. If you feel any resistance or obstruction, stop and contact your healthcare professional or coloplast care. While still holding the balloon catheter, turn the knob to the white balloon symbol and pump to inflate the balloon to the recommended size. One pump means squeezing the bulb until its internal walls touch one another and then releasing your grip completely again. Your doctor or nurse will recommend an initial number of pumps and may make gradual adjustments to help you get a good seal for the irrigation. To help you remember, you can write down the number of pumps you need in the instructions for use or the step-by-step -step guide. The air in the balloon should make the catheter stay in place on its own. Once inflated, gently pull the catheter back to seal off the rectum. If you sense that the balloon is too big, turn the knob to the grey deflate symbol to deflate it. If you experience problems, contact your healthcare professional. Now turn the knob to the turquoise water symbol, following the turquoise circular line and pump water slowly into your rectum. To avoid discomfort, we recommend one pump per 5 to 10 seconds. If you experience any pain or discomfort, 
turn the knob to the white balloon symbol to stop the water and wait until the pain or discomfort ceases. When you are ready, turn the knob back to the turquoise water symbol and resume pumping water. Your doctor or nurse will recommend an initial volume of water and may make gradual adjustments to help you achieve proper emptying of the colon. Remember to write the water volume down in instructions for use or the step-by-step -step guide. This will help you to keep track. Check to see how much water you've pumped by looking at the water bag. Once you have pumped the recommended volume of water into the rectum, you can deflate the balloon. To deflate the balloon, hold the balloon catheter and turn the knob to the grey deflate symbol. The balloon must deflate completely before you remove the catheter. The catheter will often slide out on its own. If it doesn't, gently pull it out while remaining seated on the toilet. Disconnect the balloon catheter from the tube by unlocking the turquoise connector. You can dispose of the catheter right away or put it into the packaging for cleanup afterward. Throw away the balloon catheter with your normal household waste. Do not flush it down the toilet. Do not change the knob position to prevent water leakage. The water causes movements of your bowels. As a result, water and stool will be expelled. Stay seated on the toilet until you stop passing water and stool. The time it takes to empty the bowel varies from person to person. On average, it can take about 30 minutes. If your bowel does not start to empty on its own, try to lean forward. Cough. Massage your abdomen or move your upper body back and forth. With your system in the sink, Twist the grey connector anti-clockwise to disconnect it from the lid and empty the water bag. Then turn the knob to the finish and storage symbol. This will release the water from the tubes. Now hang the system to dry for at least an hour. Finish by washing your hands. When you store the system, make sure that the tubes are dry and without kinks. For detailed information on how to clean your Peristine Plus system, please consult the Instructions for Use document. A bowel diary can help you keep track of your frequency and progress. It can take anywhere from a few weeks to months to establish a good Peristine Plus routine. Once a good routine has been established, you will be able to decide when and where to empty your bowels. Coloplast Care is here to support your journey to succeed in Thai and most importantly, can help make a long-lasting difference to your bowel management. Important note. The instructions provided in this film are only intended as a supplement to the advice you have already been given. Before use, please consult the instructions for use document found separately in the box, as this document contains information about indications, contraindications, warnings and cautions.